Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to talk about the top five hardest engineering courses as a computer engineer. I just recently graduated in computer engineering. Um, I'm also going for my master's degree, but I decided to make a video and discuss the different things that, or the different classes that have been the hardest for me. And I just like to break those down, explain why they're hard, because if you're looking to you know, pursue a computer engineering degree or any sort of engineering degree for that matter, um, it's important to like take note of these classes. That way you can, you have a better understanding as to what to expect and what to focus on. So you can put more emphasis in these courses than the other ones because you know that they're actually gonna be more difficult. With that, let's get to it. Number one, the hardest class would probably be circuits and that's any sort of circuit. Circuits one, circuits two, both of them are very difficult. And the reason why is because you have to know how to apply the equations given to you by the professor. It does take some thinking. So if the professor were to give you a certain circuit during homework or for a homework assignment, they would give you a certain you know, structure of a circuit with a certain amount of capacitors, resistors, inductors, whatever. Um, and you learned how to find the voltage drop through the circuit given those certain number of you know, components in the circuit. Um, that may not be the case during an exam. The professor could easily take out a resistor, add another resistor, and those little tweaks to the circuit can completely change it so that you may even need a whole nother formula than what you would have in the homework problem. So given that, even if you study the circuits and you memorize all of the circuits in the homework or in the book, you still may not do, I mean, there's no guarantee that you would actually do very well in the exam because that just means you memorize the circuits. That doesn't mean that you understood how to apply the equations to the circuits or how to utilize the formulas and equations. And that is very important because if you know how to do that, then you should be able to solve any circuit. So that's probably the hardest challenge is because those little changes in the circuit can make such a huge difference in the actual problem that you actually have to learn the concepts and the formulas and understand exactly what the circuit is doing and what each component does to the circuit, how it affects it. So that requires more studying, you know, more time, and probably you need more help from the uh, TA. So there's a whole bunch of different factors that are, you know, not taken into account in order to study for an exam or in order to actually do well in the course. Well, I had to spend a lot of time understanding the circuits and um, understanding the formulas as well. Number two and three would be electronics and microprocessors. And I'm grouping them as like one because they're very involved Electronics involves circuits and the application of circuits in real life, um, using real life instruments. So the labs involve actually building circuits. So you're not just analyzing them, you're building them using real capacitors and real inductors and real um, resistors. Here, this is an example of one of the circuits that you would have to design. And you can see that it's very complicated and complex. And that's, that's the point, so. That is Electronics 1 for you guys. It sounds cool, the name sounds cool, but uh, it's not that great. It's actually very, very stressful. And that was another thing. The labs are also super time consuming. Um, you do have TAs to help you out, but the TAs that I've experienced or I've had aren't um, from here, they're like Indian. So it's, there's also a language barrier there and it was hard to understand exactly what they were saying. Like there are other TAs that will help you out and will probably even give you some answers to the questions in the lab. Another thing that was made it really difficult, you had to work with other people in the lab. And this was really difficult for me because I'm, I'm very introverted, I like to keep to myself. So it was really difficult for me to go out there and like ask others for help or to have that partner and make sure that we are, you know, doing the right amount of work also, the lab reports, those were a bear because with all of the questions that they would ask at the end of the lab reports, you had to answer each one in detail, discuss why or how it went wrong, if it did, you know, um, 
what did you learn and all this stuff. Luckily though, in one of my, um, I think a different course that I had taken, the TAs weren't very strict on the lab reports, but um, so they would just check to see that you participated, that you completed it. They didn't really care about if you got the right results or not. So, I mean, that was good. And uh, yeah, um, some people may think that these courses with the labs are actually pretty easy because of that. Like the TAs don't really care if you do well or if you mess up, that's fine. As long as you participated and turned it in, then you'll get an A. But I didn't like that. I didn't like the, you know, being around all those people, spending two, three hours twice a week on top of all the classes that I'm already taking and the other courses that I have to study for and the other exams that I have to worry about. It was just very time consuming and unnecessarily so because I feel like I didn't really learn that much in the labs, but um, some people do, you know, it's that, that's give or take. But that was another thing. Like the labs didn't always coincide with what the instructor was teaching at that time. So it was like you learn one thing in the lecture, but then you go to the lab and you're like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> and you had to have that TA there because you couldn't do it by yourself. I mean, the TA was a necessity. So yeah, enough with the labs and electronics. That was awful. Um, but I also want to discuss microprocessors. Same thing. Like I said, I wanted to group them together because it was also very lab involved and because of that time consuming and stressful and, you know, all of those fun things. So I'm gonna move on. Number four would be signals and systems. And a lot of people don't think that it was that difficult. There were some people that I knew in my class that thought it was pretty easy, but this was hard for me because mostly symbols and logical reasoning in order to solve the problems. And I like to have numbers and final answers. So it was kind of hard to wrap my mind around symbols instead of actual numbers. Like even X, Y, Z, those are fine. Even letters were <laughs> fine with me, but these were actual symbols like alpha, beta, and you know, all these other things. And that was the answer, you know, it was like 0.5 beta plus, you know, three alpha. <laughs> and like those, those were the answers. So be aware of that one as well if you do decide in majoring in computer engineering. Number five would be data structures and algorithms. And the reason why it was difficult for me was because of the professor. I mean, the material itself, when I would read the book, I understood it and I was able to wrap my mind or wrap my head around the concepts, but the professor made it so much more difficult than it needed to be. He would go derive the formulas of each, you know, equation and explain why it is what it is. And that just overcomplicated it. I didn't need to know that information. All I needed to know was the formula and how to apply it and why it's important basically. So yeah, that was why it was pretty difficult. So be wary of your professors. That's one thing I want to mention is that there may be a course that seems really simple or easy. Like for me, algebra, I, I love algebra. I thought it was pretty easy, pretty straightforward, um, as well as calculus. I didn't think it was too bad, but there have been times where the professor has been very strict or has been very, um, like wouldn't budge on if there was an assignment turned in late or they would have quizzes at the beginning of the class and I didn't show up or I was late and so I missed that quiz and that affected my grade and you know very unnecessary stress so yeah maybe I'll go into detail a little bit more on you know teachers and professors and how that plays a huge role in the classes um, but yeah those were like the five most difficult um, engineering courses that I've taken. If you guys like this and if you found this any, like if you found this useful or you want to learn more about this, more about specific courses in general, um, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll definitely answer that for you. Um, I can make another video on going into detail about one certain class or maybe, you know, other professors, but uh, yeah, just uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, I hope you like this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe below. Thank you. Bye.